And getting capacitor and any sort of kind of like web-based library that requires HTTP and cookies to work is usually a pain in the ass. I spent a lot of hours and I finally figured out how to get the clerk view um, user management system to work in capacitor to successfully work with not only clerk components. So you can see when you sign in, we get the clerk component here, but I've also cracked the code on to get it working what they call headless. So I can sign in here with my account that I created. I'm authenticated. I can get the user profile information back through these API calls. I can get the session information back. I can refresh my session. Everything's all good. And then also, if you want to just use the traditional components that you get from Clerk that you normally see on a website, when you, you see how I sign in, the address pops up. And I'm signed back in. Everything's good. Exact same. I can get my session information. I can refresh my session. I can get my user profile. So, yes, the libraries, of course, since they're view, you just think they're going to work fine with capacitor, but there were changes I needed to make to the uh, info P list. There were changes I needed to make to Android Manifest. There were some specific capacitor configurations that I needed to make, but this can work. Working on a longer video to kind of explain the whole thing, how I package it up. And I'm going to create a template video. Sorry. I'm going to create a template for you also that you could just download with clear instructions on how to extract the clerk auth code out of my template and insert it to any application that you have that um, you need to add kind of high powered authentication with. Clerk is almost considered an industry standard for the way it handles user management. So being able to incorporate it into your capacitor apps is a big win. Subscribe to take a look at the full video. Thanks.